109 Mini Power Boat. This boat is exciting little boat. It is full of fun. It's 10 foot, 9 inches by 5 foot, 3 inches wide, I believe. Um, it's an easy to drive, easy to learn how to use boat. Very simple and basic. Not many things are on this boat. It keeps it very easy to maintain, easy to store, easy to load, and put in the water or take out. Okay, as you can see on the inside here, we've improved this model over the 101. This is the latest model. It's a little wider and a little deeper than the last boats that we were building. Now you see I'm five foot 11 inches tall and I've got room for my legs. We've had six foot six guys in here, you know, in the 300 pound range and they still fit and can drive this boat. Um, it's got a nice little uh, area in the right side where you can put your leg out to the right a little bit more because it allows room for this shifter to go. Um, the dash panel is easy to reach. You can see that I can just reach up here and switch all the buttons. This is the bilge pump. This is the nav lights and an accessory switch that you can add whatever you want to to it. So this is the basic model with just a fuel fill, I mean a fuel gauge and the fuel fills up on the deck and it has a 12 gallon fuel tank. Um, plenty of gas for this boat. You can run this boat all day long on 12 gallons. Um, got a grab handle here we have a nav light system right here where you pull the nav light from out from underneath and it pops in right here so you can see you can still easily reach it and it slides in like this so now you're ready to run at night I'll show you the shifter okay this is the uh, shifter on a Honda I'm gonna show you how it works this is pretty simple. You, you push the button here and then that allows you to get out of neutral and go forward. You pull it back and it'll snap back in place in neutral. You push the button again, it goes into reverse. Um, it has an up and down trim, power trim, or power tilt. And also it has, of course, the key, comes with two keys, and the kill switch. I put the kill switch on and it has to be engaged for it to crank. The, um, this right here is the um, fast idle, which means you can just rev the engine while it's cranked without being in gear. Otherwise, you can't do it. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the seat. Uh, this seat is uh, easy to fold over. A lot of people don't realize it snaps in place and now see so you can't lift it. There's a, there's a switch back here. You reach back and you push it and it'll lift up. You can push them both down if you want when you're traveling. You can go in the back and there's plenty of room as you'll see to get life jackets and uh, fire extinguishers and everything else you need back in there. So this boat motor that we got on here is a Honda 15. Uh, you can go down to a 99 or up to a 25. A lot of people depend, just depends on what you like speed wise. Um, but this is how you crank one, okay? This is the primer bulb. What you do is you, you get the fuel out of the tank into this primer bulb and it gets taunt, it gets semi-tight. You gotta do that before you first crank the motor or it won't crank, it won't get gas there. You'll be running for a while, trying for a while. Now the trim, the way it works, it's just travel with this boat on the trailer. You have to lift it and then there's a little switch here. That you put down and then you set it right back down on there just so it stays nice and tight for traveling down the road. Uh, there's a drain plug back here, of course, and there's tie-off um, U-bolts for strapping it down. Now, these are also used for towing behind the boat, like a tube or skiers or wakeboarders, whatever you want to do behind the boat. They just tie off right here. Don't, don't tie to the cleat. If you tie to the cleat, they'll probably shear off the boat. Now we're gonna take a look at the gas cap. Now the way this gas cap works, there's a little lever on here that you push and then it opens up and it pushes over and it snaps closed. It's got an air vent in it so that it allows the uh, you know gases to escape. It is compliant with all the latest uh, specs and regulations that the Coast Guard has put out. 
the um, just don't try to force this open if you do you will be able to break it but um, you know where the clip is works great now this is the standard steering wheel as you'll see it's a little bit smaller than the upgraded steering wheel um, the, the upgraded steering wheel is just a little easier to drive but on this boat with a 15 this one's all you need all right, let's go back to the bilge pump. The way this bilge pump works, this is a manual override switch. You can hear it run. That lets you know it's working. Um, it is an automatic bilge pump, which means if there's water that gets in there, it automatically goes. Now the convenience of that is you can actually look right back here. If you'll look at it, there's the place where the bilge comes out. So you can easily see it from your seated position. Now we're looking in the back of the boat. You can always make sure that uh, your bilge pump is working by just looking back there. All right, in this boat, we have the standard battery. You'll see it's a fairly decent sized battery. It's just a, an acid cell battery. We offer an upgraded lithium ion battery that weighs five pounds. It saves you 50 pounds in this boat. In this little tiny boat, that's a big savings. I know it costs more, but it's a great upgrade for those trying to get a little more performance out of their boat. redesigned Exhilarator 150. Now you can see we've been making this boat for a little while but uh, the new deck is looking really nice. People are really liking it. Now the 151 has a deeper V than the 109. It's uh, got a smoother ride because of that so it handles a little bit deeper chop. The boat is being a four-seater. It's very comfortable. There's lots of room in the front seats. As a matter of fact, if you're super tall, this is the boat you want. Now, the 151, being a much more powerful boat, has a uh, up to a 60 horsepower motor, of course, you can put on there. This allows you to uh, put skiers and tubers and all kinds of more, you know, just do more with more people. Now this boat sits a little higher out of the water than the 109, so getting in it's a little bit trickier. We are working on a uh, new custom ladder that'll be available to buy this before we come out with it. Um, the handles right here are pretty good for that, for pulling yourself back in the boat. Now on the back of the boat, there are the same tile points for hooking up your ropes for tubing and skiing, things like that. The um, very similar in almost every design uh, as far as features go. They're using the same seats as the 109. Um, they work the same way. Now there's a couple of options that this boat has that that one doesn't have, which is the ability to turn this seat around so that you can watch the skiers behind you. With the ability to turn this seat around, it allows you to see the skiers or tubers behind you real easily without having to strain your neck as you watch them behind the boat. Okay, now the front seats have a lot more space than the back seats. Now, there, you can still fit back here, and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, the front seats, this one, this particular boat has an optional slide seat back, and you can see, if you look at my feet, how much more space I got. Now, if I'm seven foot tall, I bet you I could drive this boat. Now this is the upgraded steering wheel that you can buy in the 109. I believe we're making this standard for this boat because it just needs it. It's a, just a bigger, powerful, more powerful boat. This boat has an optional stereo system. Um, it has its own stereo switch. So that's the only extra, oh, and a horn. This boat also has a horn. Now on this boat has an optional horn, a stereo, and it comes standard with a circuit breaker here. This is in case, uh, you know, something stops working in the boat, get some water on the wires. Instead of being panicking, try this boat first. Now this is the standard Memphis audio stereo system. The way this one works is you have to turn the power on here and now you'll see the lights come on on this. And of course you connect with your phone and the app. You'll hear it beep one time and that means it's ready to pair with your phone. Now we install the eight inch speakers in this boat. They're uh, very good bass to them. 
the uh, they have lights, LED lights that you can change on your phone. So you can change the colors at will. Now the 151 has four cup holders right down the middle here. Very convenient for getting to your drinks for everybody. Now I'm sitting in the back here. You can see I've got enough space. I'm 5'11". So if you're six foot tall, you can still fit. It's just, uh, you know, not as comfortable as the front seats. Now there are storage areas in the back back here. Lots of storage behind the boat. A lot more than the 109 because it's a bigger boat. We've got a couple things back there right now. Now there's also a place down the side of the boat right here. Of course you can let that down. But you can slide in wakeboard skis right down the side. It makes it very comfortable. Uh, riding when you can just put these things out of the way. Now, this is the optional pop-up fleet. You can see it just comes up and down. It's designed for tying off to a dock, not to put tubes behind the boat and pull. Now this is the Honda 60 horsepower. It has power tilt and trim. Uh, you can actually do the trim right here, or the tilt should I say, and it goes all the way top flips down, sets there, now you're ready to travel. Now the difference between the power tilt and the power trim is that power trim is allow, it allows you to uh, tilt the motor up and down while you're moving on the water. The, tr the power tilt is just for trailering, it goes faster. You'll see it goes nice and fast, but when you're, you're trying to adjust the way the boat runs on the water, you definitely need to, to adjust that or you'll lose some top end speed on this boat you want to trim it just right you can see we sell a lot of different color options on these exhilarators this one is in a new sea foam color for this year it's a beautiful color i have a yellow boat out here lots to choose from just look at the color chart